guys, this is going to be my video of what's in my shower, what I use, the products that I love, kind of like a bit of a product review, but just kind of letting you know the stuff that I've been using that I consistently keep rebuying, and just what's in the shower. So I'm going to start over here because I did show you guys the last time that I'm still using the Schwarzkopf stuff. Um, this is some of the Paul Mitchell purple shampoo I use. I haven't touched a lot of this stuff since I switched over to a lot of Lush products. Um, I'm using right now currently this stuff every other shampoo so that I can uh, tone the blonde and kind of keep it fresh and vibrant um, since I got it dyed. Um, now my son, for example, uses uh, this stuff. It is called Original Sprout Hair and Body Baby Wash because he has very sensitive skin. So he gets a lot of eczema, um, ratchy, rashy patches. He has very, very sensitive skin. Now it is um, completely 100% vegan. It is a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, so this is the size that we were able to get before. It was the four ounce size or 118 milliliters. Um, I bought this size, I think it's $70, I wanna say. This is the bigger one with the pump. So, and this has 33 fluid ounces in it. Um, I don't know if it was just under 70 or somewhere in there. I know it was, it was 50 at least, but um, we find that that works good for him. So that's what he uses. Highly recommended if you have really sensitive skin for your kids. Um, when I'm taking a bath, I use Refresher as like a soap when I'm in the bathtub, as opposed to using a lot of the stuff I use when I'm showering. Um, this is the very fresh lemon scent. Um, it's very jelly. Um, if I can just set this down real quick here, I can show you. Oops. Um, all right. So if I can just show you, I chop it all up. Oh lord, this isn't working. All right, take two. So basically, what I do is I chop it all up into pieces with a knife on a cutting board. And I absolutely love this lemon scent. I'm so worried that I'm not going to use it by expiry. So I'm going to start getting on that um, and use it up. It's my, one of my favorite fragrances. I do love it. Um, the other one we got in the wow box um, was Santa's Belly. I need to use this one up sooner. But it's apple and glitter. Um, I don't know if we're going to even use it all up in time. But it's okay. I, I don't think I'll be buying jellies again. I'm not so much as a fan for the simple fact that there's so much there and we just don't use it as much as I would like to because I'm using so many other products in the shower that I really, really love. So those are the ones there. Currently, what I have left is the Santasaurus bar. You can use these things I, literally a trillion times. So I'm going to start breaking it up a bit more. It is really soft. Um, I got that out of the wow box. It's a toffee caramel smell. And I use it and run it under the tap when I'm having a bath. Okay, so shower caddy. This is the extent of the shower caddy. Now, some are samples, some are body conditioners. I do have some of the Zape bath products that I just got not too long ago um, from the shampoos and conditioners, and then these are all the body washes. So I'm going to make it really simple, and we'll start out with the body washes what I've purchased, what I haven't really used much of yet, and what I do or don't like. So, um, Yummy Mummy is one of the shower washes I've been using. I started using it again. Um, I've probably used it about four or five times so far since I got it around Mother's Day. Um, same with Plum Rain. I've used it maybe a few times, not as many as the Yummy Mummy. Um, I love both of them. I'm not as huge on them as I was hoping to be. Um, like... Snow Fairy, for example. This one's upside down because it's getting low. Um, I need to get the other ones out. I have two more of these to use up. And Snow Fairy is my favorite fragrance. Um, I bought this one intentionally for Brayson, and we haven't really used it yet. I'm going to use it in the bubble bath for him. Um, it's beautiful. I'm not such a big fan. It's supposed to be a peach smell. Um, it's not very strong. I thought about taking it back, but I just always feel bad taking stuff back. Um, and then my other favorite one is Bubbly. I love this one. I can't wait for it to come back at Christmas with Snow Fairy. I'm going to stock up on both of those at Christmas time, and that's about it. I'm not getting much at Christmas. Um, just a few of my favorite bubble bars um, and bath bombs, and that's about it. Uh, and then I've been using Setsuma from the Body Shop. It's my other favorite. I've used quite a bit of that one also, and I have one more or two more of those left to use. Um, here I have the Rub 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 Shower Scrub. 
Um, I have been using quite a bit of that. Um, I'm just going to open it up. As you can see, for Rub Rub Rub, I've used a fair bit of it. Um, I use this everywhere, as well as on my feet, especially when I was gardening. I found that this stuff was perfect to get all the dirt and the um, soil, topsoil and the mulch off my feet because it was kind of like staining my feet. So I found that this worked perfectly for scrubbing. Okay, so I think I've got my phone propped up so I can show you a little bit better. Um, okay, so as far as like some samples, we have a few of the Yuzu and Coco shower cream and we have some comforter shower cream. Those ones are given to Brayson. Um, I think there's two more comforter. Um, and then, okay, next is the sugar whip that I've been using from Bubblegum, uh, Bubblegum Fairy. It's the one from Zape. And I've used a fair bit of it so far. I find a little bit goes a long way. I absolutely love the smell. I don't really get a bubblegum fragrance from it. Like, I do get a sweet kind of candy fragrance, but I don't really find that it's necessarily bubblegum. I kind of get a sweet citrusy smell, but like Ashley said, everybody's nose picks up different scents and stuff like that. Absolutely love their sugar scrub. Definitely love it. I love that the sugar is finer than, like, say, the Rub 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 from, um... Lush. I like that it's finer, it's homemade, it's small, and I love the smell. I don't necessarily still smell like it afterwards, like Lush products do. They stay on you a little bit longer, but I still love the product itself, and I love using it. Um, next is the Cotton Candy Whipped stuff from Zape as well, and I've been using it like crazy. Um, you wouldn't think so by looking at it, but I honestly do. I use it like a shaving cream. Um, for my legs, I also use it all over body, and this is the most amazing cotton candy fragrance I have found yet on the market. A lot of products, when it comes to cotton candy itself, it's more like a vanilla fragrance, and this one is absolutely the best one I've found so far. And this is the whole reason I even fell in love with Zape in the first place. So, so happy. I love this. I'm definitely excited that I got the big one. Um, I probably won't need this for quite some time because I am using so many products. So I'm kind of glad that this restock that I'm getting coming up on Friday is mostly wax um, because I have so many bath products that I don't need any more right now. Um, okay, so the other one that I used, this is now shampoo. So this is the Avo, um, this is the one that is from Lush. I believe it's the avocado shampoo um, bar thing. And it usually has like the little red pieces on it, but this one fell off. This is my favorite scent by Lush, by far. Um, I just hate that you can't make a lather really out of it when you're shampooing it into your hair. It's more of like rubbing it on or using the bar itself. But by far, one of my favorite, favorite scents and products with Lush. I put it in Tupperware to keep it dry when I'm not using it. And that's what I do with a lot of my little Tupperwares that I got from this Tupperware set, is I use them in the shower. Um, okay, now, biggest product I've been using is Retread. It costs $30. It's a little bit more on the higher price end, but it's the best conditioner for my hair as far as, um, as, oh, I almost spilled it, as far as moisture. It's almost empty. It's about, I'd say I have about a quarter left in the container. It's about to there. Um, I'm going to have to keep stocking up on this. I did find that I got it, when did I get it? May, maybe? May, I think I got it, and I've been using it since then. I do find that I use a little bit more of it to help me get more moist, but this one pairs really, really well with the Rehab Shampoo, which I just purchased not too long ago. I did have samples of both and was using them together, so I do use these ones together right now. I use this with everything anyway. Um, I'm also using Daddio. I just bought a new one of these. This one is almost empty. I only have a little bit left. Um, and I bought another one to replace it because I do use purple shampoo every time I shower to brighten up my hair. I do switch it up on occasion. Um, now I do love the American cream that everyone loves. It's that strawberry fragrance. However, I did use a lot of it. Um, I bought this at the same time as the Daddio and the other one I got, the Fairly Traded Honey. But I find that you have to use more of this to get the moisture that I need for my hair consistency. Um, I do love the fragrance. So I'd use this from time to time instead of the retread. 
but I would throw retread on first and then throw this on as well. Um, now I also use fairly traded honey. I am almost out of this one as well, but since I have the retread right now with the rehab, I'm going to use the rehab up first before I get another one of these just to save money. I don't want to keep spending and not having and just having the product sitting around. So once this one's gone, I'm not getting another one. I do love the smell, but I do have this shimmy bar, the shimmy shimmy bar that smells just like it. So I can use that in place of it, um, for smell. Um, and then what do I have up here? Oh, I just have a veganese um, sampler left. I do love the smell of it, but apparently it doesn't uh, pair very well with the choices that I have for shampoo and conditioner. So, um, okay, so that's the top row, the bottom row. That's everything there. Now the last row is just, I have some samples. I've been using Angels on Bare Skin um, on my face, and I've also been using Let the Good Times Roll. Um, these two are my favorite as far as trying for cleansers. Um, I've also been using a little bit of Aquamarina on some of my skin issues um, because of the Calamine lotion in it and Ocean Salt. So those are the four samples that I have sitting in there. Also, I have the Chris Tingle, um, the body, lo the what do you call it? Body, body conditioner. I haven't used this yet. I was thinking about using it for when I get sick. It's only a small one from the Wow Box, and I need to use it by January, so I'm gonna have to start using it up. Um, same with Snow Fairy. I love the fragrance. I almost don't want to use it because I love it so much, but um, I love the size. They're just little itty bitty ones. And it does really, really condition the skin. I find that it made it so conditioned. So it's going to be great as the drier air is coming in for the winter. So I might start using it up before Christmas. I want to get more anyways at Christmas time. Um, now that I'm familiar, I'm new to Lush as far as come Christmas this year. It'll be one year that I've been using Lush. I got a wow box on the internet. So I got it by purchasing it online. I have not yet seen Thanksgiving or Halloween products. And I just got a few Lush things the other day. Like I got more Daddy-O and I got a, a couple of things. So I'm going to have to show you guys my Lush haul as well. Um, like I said, I'm not going to stock up too much anymore and have too much abundance of Lush. I'm going to use up everything I have, especially starting, like finishing off, excuse me, some of the Wow Box stuff. Soaps are fine. I probably won't go through all of the hand soap. Um, because that stuff does last a little bit longer than the actual products itself because of the things that they're made with. So I need to use up more of my products before they expire so that I can enjoy them as well as the bath bombs. So this is what's in my shower, guys. I wanted to tell you um, basically what I'm using. I usually rotate. So when I'm having a shower, I will switch up the lotions that I'm using to shave with, to body wash with. Um, I'm always putting on the cleansers in the face, on the face while I'm standing here, um, letting my shampoo kind of, and my conditioners kind of soak a bit longer. Um, generally, I enjoy showers right now a little bit more than baths. I haven't had a bath in a little while. Um, I do need to use up some bath bombs. I think I'm going to have a bath tonight. I just love having a shower quick, 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 get it done, get out. Even though I am doing full cleansing, full conditioning, full shampoo, and I do use everything to shave with and whatnot. But um, like I said, it's just I've been out of my element lately, so I need to get back into having baths more often. Just had a lot going on, and I just wasn't in the mood to film. So I needed to get back into the mood and feel a little bit better. So um, I'm very, very excited to try a couple of the new bath bombs that I got as well, but I need to use up some of my old ones first. So this is my shower caddy. <laughs> Um, I got this caddy specifically to store Lush and bath products, and I'm very excited. Um, we do have, like, the two shelves here that I showed you first um, above where my camera is right now. And that's got some of the old stuff. So I do rotate. I will use some of the homemade products, like the handmade stuff, and then I'll switch over to some of the other. Once my hair feels that it's starting to get too um, immune to something, just to give it more wake up, give it freshness. And plus I dye my hair as well. So I like to use some of the Schwarzkopf products to brighten up the, um, the highlights and stuff like that. So um, hope you guys like what's in my shower. I love, love, love Lush products, and I love Zape Bath products so far. I can't wait to try more. Um, I'm excited because I think I'm going to get the Helium Scoopable Wax, and Helium was one of the scents with Zape Bath that I wanted to try in the shower scrub. 
Um, same with Fruity Pebbles. So I'm excited to smell some more of the fragrances. Even just getting a sense of the fragrance from the, the wax and products will let me have a better understanding of what the scent is when I want to buy more of the product. Now they do have the Bubblegum Fairy in rocks right now. So if my total isn't too high, um, come Friday when I place my order, I'm going to maybe get some of those, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to go as quickly as possible for my order so that I don't lose out on the items in the shopping cart this time. So, but um, yeah, so I'll have to do my Lush haul next um, after this video because I do have some of those things to show you as well. So give my video a thumbs up. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the links down below. And also you can check out the Zape Bath. I'll repost the link and I'll post Lush down below as well. Check them out. Excellent products if you've never heard of them or tried them before. And until the next video, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my channel.